Hi buddies, I welcome all of you in this Usatility channel. Are you an enthusiastic player of R-Knights and would like to enjoy this game on large screen? Here you are going to know about playing R-Knights on PC. There is no need to keep your eyes on small display but it's the time to play R-Knights on PC. You are watching it on the screen, and you'll see how it is actually working. Now why don't we do it? In order to set up this game on computer, I've given a website link for you in the description of the video tutorial. If you wish to see the website link clearly, here you go. Simply click it, it will lead you to this web page of Bluestacks Arnites. Bluestacks is the computer software we are going to use to download the game and play it on PC. Bluestacks is an incredible software to download almost any mobile game on a big screen. Right here is the option to download Arnites for PC. The download is done, here's the file. Just press on this specific file now. In Windows 10, it'll have asked us for agreement, we answer yes and then accept. I'll minimize the browser, so that we can view the game installer much better. Now I'm gonna choose the directory for installing this game. Directory can be picked by simply visiting, customize installation. After that, please click here on, back, and then press, install now. It will only take some MBs from the memory of your laptop to download this particular file. Based on your internet connection, it'll be faster or even slower. Emulator can be installed in your computer or laptop then. Look, the file is installed. As Bluestacks has been installed in my laptop first time, so it's gonna take some time to start. The next step is extremely important. So as to sign in to Google Play, click on Sign In. When you will click it, you'll be asked to enter in the credentials to log in to Google Play. Remember that installation will not be started without this particular step. I'll be back after this particular step. Just wait and we will simply get access to Google account and I'll be back after this step. Look, we have signed in our Google account. Press, I agree, so as to accept the terms. If you need to create the backup of your device in the cloud storage then click, yes, otherwise, continue by hitting, no. It'll display exactly the same setup as of cell phone or tablet and if you will create a backup, it will save all the data for future. We just accept it, and it will instantly head over to Google Play. When you would like to visit the desktop, hit on this arrow. Before moving forward, look into the two icons it has made here, Bluestacks and also Bluestacks Multi Instance. The first option is actually to start Bluestacks app. Now, to install this game, we'd simply click this icon. After performing all important parts, we have finally come to the installation step. Let us go to Google Play and click install. One final step that we will have to do, which would be to complete the account setup, hence we need to pick the payment method which we're going to utilize if we're intending to buy things on Google Play. As we aren't interested to set up payment methods so we will ignore such settings. Installing the Arnight starts, it downloads the game. In case you have speedy web connection then it is not going to take so long as to download Arnights. Thus I'm going to skip and wait for download to end. After installation, the icon of Arnights has actually been shown up on the computer's desktop and hence we can directly begin Arnights. If we reboot laptop, we click twice this particular Windows icon, and then the game will start. You can even start Arnights with the help of Bluestacks. See, we will start the game by simply clicking this icon. You may even modify the options of keyboard from here. Because we are not interested to customize keyboard configurations and we will keep them as it is. To begin with, I would like to tell you there are two big screen options. This is actually to maximize the emulator, you will have a full screen with a border. Even then, it won't get 100% larger. Click F11 to have 100% full screen then click exactly the same key to go to normal mode. Once you will start playing in the full screen mode, you will be able to better concentrate on the game. We only recommend playing the game in an emulator if the system is powerful enough. Within no time, I'll explain how to change the language. For this purpose, you are supposed to simply click preferences. In the drop down menu, choose the game language you prefer. I've eventually altered the game language, see. The game is eventually installed. The game is ready to play. We'll keep sharing such helpful stuff for all of you therefore don't forget to subscribe to Usatility channel as well as give a thumb up to the video. Thank you very much buddies for paying attention. Hopefully, this video would be helpful for you. Bye.